Deep below the surface of Darwin Harbour, a determined group of hobbyists have found a slice of history. We were looking for a, a missing aeroplane from World War II. Um, we discovered a, a lump on the bottom, we thought we'd go and have a look. Um, two guys dived down, came back up and said, I think you better come and have a look. There was no plane wreck. Instead, Grant Trelaw found part of a ship, believed to belong to the USS Peary. I was on JobKeeper one day a week, so it provided me with a bit of spare time to, um, to dedicate to doing this. He had uh, identified an anomaly and he decided just to go down and have a look at it. But I'm sure it was a complete surprise to him to discover two huge bronze ship's propellers. The first air raid on the Australian mainland. The Peary was sunk during the bombing of Darwin in 1942, taking with it about 90 of its crew. Historians are now of the view the ship's stern was disabled on the first Japanese strike, leaving the Peary a virtual sitting duck to further attacks. It um, tells us the Peary sank very quickly, I think. Uh, we sort of knew that, but this sort of, I think, confirms it. Uh, and um, fighting to the end when the back end of your ship's been blown off uh, puts a new perspective on the American bravery, I suppose. A memorial now stands not far from where the Peary went down, which is frequented by visiting US dignitaries. So I think that tells us that the loss of the Peary is incredibly symbolic in terms of the relationship between Australia and the United States of America. While the Heritage Branch is confident the propellers are from the USS Peary, they're still working on getting confirmation. In the meantime, the NT government will look at protecting the site and the Heritage Branch will continue studying the area. Cameron Gooley, ABC News.